Mr. Speaker, I rise today to, in support of the resolution recognizing the 10th anniversary of the first designation of March as Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month. House Concurrent Resolution 60 also recognized the importance of celebrating March as Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month. I'd like to thank my colleague, Patrick Kennedy of Rhode Island, for his support of this resolution and for his efforts in the fight against colorectal cancer. Ten years ago, colorectal cancer was a disease that not many people talked about. In November 1999, a resolution passed the Senate designating March as Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month. The House passed a supporting re resolution in March 2000. In the years since, advocacy groups have increased awareness about colorectal cancer and thousands of Americans have been screened. This year, an estimated 149,000 new cases of colorectal cancer will be diagnosed. An estimated 50,000 deaths will be caused by colorectal cancer. The real tragedy is that many of these cancer cases and deaths occurred needlessly because the vast majority of colorectal cancer deaths can be prevented through proper screening and early detection. Colorectal cancer is the third most commonly diagnosed cancer and the second most common cause of cancer deaths in the United States. Every three and a half minutes, someone is diagnosed with colorectal cancer. Every nine minutes, someone dies from colorectal cancer. This is a disease that affects, affects men and women equally. The more we talk about this disease and the more we encourage our family, our friends, and our neighbors to get screens, the more lives we save. It's that simple. Unfortunately, less than half of those who should be screened for colon cancer are screened. Not only do we need to increase awareness about colorectal cancer, but we also need to increase federal funding for early detection and screening. Along with my colleague from Rhode Island, Patrick Kennedy, I've introduced a bill that would authorize funding for early detection screenings and make preventive care a priority. Specifically, the Colorectal Cancer Prevention Early Detection and Treatment Act, uh, H.R. 1189, would establish a national screening program from colorectal cancer for individuals over 50 years of age or who are at high risk. But also authorize state funding for those screenings and create a public awareness and education campaign on colorectal cancer. Despite scientific evidence supporting the benefits of screening, screenings for this disease in the U.S. remain low. Every five seconds, someone who should be screened for cancer is not. When it's diagnosed late, the survival rate for colorectal cancer is only 10 percent, but when it's diagnosed early, before it's spread to lymph nodes and other organs, the survival rate is 90%. Early detection and screening saves lives. If everyone over 50 years of age were screened regularly for colorectal cancer, the death rate for this disease could plummet by 80%. In addition to saving lives, early detection and screening saves money. Treatment costs for colorectal cancer are extremely high and could be greatly reduced if mass screenings occurred. Colorectal cancer treatment costs totaled roughly $8.4 billion for new cases in 2004. The cost of two-thirds of these colorectal cancer cases are borne by the Medicare program. The Lewin Group recently conducted a comprehensive study of the potential cost savings to Medicare and found that every 10 years a colorectal screening program will result in savings about one and a half years worth of Medicare expenditures. If screenings were increased among people 50 years of age and older in the United States, it would save billions of dollars in Medicare expenditures and it would also save thousands of lives. The Color Cancer Screening Prevention Early Detection Treatment Act ensures that people who are screened will get the full continuum of cancer care, including the appropriate follow-up for abnormal tests, diagnostic and therapeutic services, and treatment for detective cancers. If you've not already, I urge you to co-sponsor the Colorectal Cancer Prevention Early Detection and Treatment Act and join me in this Colon Awareness Month. Observing Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month provides us with the opportunity to discuss the importance of early detection screenings. It also gives recognition to all the groups who've helped in this. Groups uh, 
like the American Cancer Society, the Prevent Cancer Foundation, the Colon Cancer Alliance, and C3 Colorectal Cancer Coalition. These groups, groups have created Earn a Blue Star Day as a way for individuals and corporations to raise awareness of the importance of screening. I thank you for this time, and I yield back the balance of my time. The gentlelady from Texas.